Hello everyone. I welcome to another video on how to use the Blackboard system for teaching and learning. Today we're going to learn something really new and something exciting, which is related to creation of the quizzes, but intelligent quiz in general. Normally, we have seen that when we try to create some quizzes, the questions are limited. For example, 10 or 15 or 20, and all the students are normally getting the similar questions in the in, in the examination so we try to figure out that how is it possible that we can have a variety of questions and no students are able to get similar kind of questions inside their test that means everyone is going to have different type of questions from a pool of questions that are uploaded to the blackboard system so let's try to learn how we can do that so in this case, I have one of my courses. And of course, in case when you will try to deep dive into this section, you'll be able to see a lot of course management tools in which you will go to the course tools and move into test surveys and polls. Now these tests are actually the tests or the set of questions that you prepare. And it's one time creation, so you don't have to make it another time. There are several surveys that you can prepare and then we are going to deal with pools today. So when I move into the pool, he says you can try to build up a pool. So let me try to build up a pool here. And let's say I call it test pool because I'm going to have a quick test on how to prepare pool of questions and try to call some questions into the test from that pool. So now I have created this and he says you can create the questions or maybe find questions and upload the questions. So I've prepared some questions already. Just in case if you will have a quick look, the pool here comprises of several questions in Excel format and I have converted that to Blackboard format, which is a tabbed delimiter format that probably you all are aware about from one of my videos uh, in the same series. So Let's try to copy this link and move in back and let's, let's try to upload several questions. And it says if you want to have some file, all right, you can just go and browse there and give the path to this particular file. And these are the questions. And of course, there are around 45 multiple choice questions with answers. So I'm going to open that out. And you can try to give default points as well. For me, let's say I want to give a one point per question if in case it's required. And I'm going to submit that. So what happens is now all of these questions appears in the pool. And there are a couple of more because I said 20, 45, 46 questions. So you have all these questions now inside the pool. And that's, the, and that's half of the story that you have done with. Let's go back to the tests and surveys. And now what happens is I try to move into the test and let's say I'll try to build up a test. And let's say this is test quiz pool because I'm trying to find out the test from the pool. So I just named it as test quiz pool here. Now I've created a test quiz and let's say I need to have some questions inside this. Maybe I can try to create by myself or I have to reuse the question sets from a random block. So when I click on a random block, you'll be able to see that, hey, there are several questions from the test pools. Now, Blackboard is really smart. If you remember, in my test pool, I have created precisely all of the stuff required in the format of multiple choice questions. Let's say in this quiz you want multiple choice and true and false. So you can actually try to import true, false or multiple type only. In this case here, if you will see that there is a multiple choice quiz, as soon as I select that, I'll see all the questions which are multiple choice in nature. Remember, if you have some true, false questions also, you may have to select either of them. Let's say if you have essay type questions, you have to select here from the pool. So that's really a cool technique, like all the questions falling into a precise category will be available for you all to handle them inside the random block. That's cool. So I'm going to submit that 
because all the multiple choice questions should get in here and of course points per question is like here 10 so I'm gonna give only one because I need to go one question per point all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the questions and I select the random block so whenever a question will be carried on it will be carried from the random block directly without any problems and let me update the points and here also let's say the random block <clears throat> now total number of questions here is just one so you may try to integrate several more questions into that it's of course they are going to come from these random blocks randomly so you can try to just upload as many number of questions as you want from this particular random block of series so let's try to save it let's say okay now here is a test quiz pool ready for us in case if you want you can edit that or maybe if you want you can update the info let's say in the random block if you want to edit something for example if you want to add on several more questions from the pool uh, you can add it on several more questions from here itself and then directly submit the items but in my case I only have all the specific questions from uh, let's say uh, the multiple choice only so I, I don't have any choice to select the multiple choice other than that but in case if you have another choices perfectly fine you can take that as well now if I just increase that let's say I say 30 points you will see that the total points are 30 questions is number one so number of questions to display is one here well if you want you can increase the size of that let's say if you want to submit 30 questions you can do that as well so it, it depends on you whatever be the type and let's say if the question name is one point if you change that now you have 30 questions to display and it will be 30 points so for that that's what exactly I was trying to do in my case I want to select a random block of 30 questions from 46 and I'm gonna give you uh, 13 points 30 points for one this complete quiz so you can do the similar way now all the questions 30 questions that will fall into the category will be coming in from uh, the set of these 46 so what happens is all the students will not be able to see the similar questions they will have a randomized selection from the random block so you can try to select the random block and then after you are done with all of that stuff you can say hey click OK so now you have a quiz of course if you want to you have created the first test here uh, but still you have not created a quiz in general so what we have to do is now go back to our contents and move into create a new assessment that is a test and here you will see this test quiz pool appears so when it appears here you can say submit and now comes the settings for the quiz so of course some of the settings are default and uh, I, I recommend you all to leave them as default uh, make available to the students of course because it's for them uh, you can set the timer for example in my case I want them to finish 30 questions in 30 minutes uh, well that's really fine and you can click on auto submit so that the quiz will be submitted automatically if you want you can select these options to display after or display until so for me let's say I want to display after or next week or let's say 27 so I'll do that and let's say it's a good practice to always give a, a password to the quiz because any student in case by mistake is able to see that or he opens it uh, precisely it becomes a little tough situation without a password he can't go ahead for that submission so now it's all okay and uh, you can write down click here no need to just mention all of that stuff and uh, one question at a time and you can randomize the questions for each attempt so after all this done all the options are explored everything is over you can submit that and what happens is you will have a brand new quiz here which is calling itself from the test quiz pool and let me say when I click on the quiz well he gives me some options I'm gonna say begin 
and you'll see here that I have 30 questions but remember all these 30 will be coming from a pool and not necessarily the similar questions comes to the similar students the most important part to understand in this case is you have to create the multiple number of questions and it depends on you how much questions you want to give in the quiz you can select them accordingly now the point is sometimes it happens when we are teaching multiple students in different groups then the similar quiz has to be repeated for another group as well so what to do in that case so let's try to do go back to the pools and inside this pool if you will see this test pool you can try to export so let's try to export the test pool and he says he is going to download the items here and let me download it to the desktop just to avoid any delays in searching out the path and here is the desktop so I'll, I'll say I'll select that and start the download now this pool is created from a course which is like 331m and let me go back to another course where I want the similar thing to be repeated so this is another one and let's say it's 512m so in this case again I will go back to the course tools I'm trying to figure out the pools here go back to the pools again and now in this case I'm gonna import a pool instead of exporting I'm gonna import it from a local browser file so moving in and I'm gonna just check out this is the pool and I'm gonna submit that great so the package have been processed and you have the package processed and the test pool 46 questions appears directly into a new course so what happens is now you go back to the tests try to create a new test and we'll follow the same steps and let's say I have test quiz pool in here I'm gonna mention some instructions if you want and you can submit the same and now the quiz is created and you try to create a randomized block of course the similar thing from the same pool now a twist pool in this course you can select multiple choice you can submit the items and that's it so you, now you have 10 points and, and, and just 10 questions so we'll have instead of 10 questions let's say in this case I want only 15 questions to be submitted by the kids so I'm gonna select 15 and per question point is just one so that it's a quiz of 15 marks uh, with 15 questions coming in their way and you can select the random block so once random block is selected and it's like all the items are managed look you have 15 questions you have 15 points all instructions okay you can click on and okay now this question twist is ready so let's back to our contents get into assessment tests and there you have a quiz ready for yourself now in this case this quiz you can change the options because maybe another group have another time or, or it all depends on you but for me for the time being uh, I'm just gonna leave it like the default option for example 30 minutes or this in case 15 minutes because I am going to give 15 questions to them and then you can display after for example the next week and of course you can have let's say CSC 304 password all right so randomize at the last is important point and then you can remove that you can click on the submitted button and the students will be able to see the submitted queries only and then one question at a time should be visible to them and then you submit so what happens is now you have a test quiz pool you get in you have a 15 minute timer and when you move into this the student will be able to see only 15 questions whereas in previous case he was able to see the 30 questions so this is a really brilliant technique in which you can try to go ahead and move in to create variety of question pools now there is one more important thing that I should tell you that just in case if you are not uh, interested to provide this test 
or maybe the test goes off you can just click, try to edit either from here or you can try to delete the course there so once in a course this pool let's delete the quiz because we don't want the quiz and then he says preserve the scores or delete the entire one. so of course we haven't gone any grading center in this case so we're gonna remove whatever is related to this quiz so the quiz goes off and moving back here go to the tests precisely you will move in here and now you will see the delete button enabled so now you can delete the test which is readily available here and the test is over for example let's say you don't want even the pool of questions to be here you can get in here and delete the pool of questions again which you have uh, imported now this is one case or I'm, I'm gonna give you another time one more demo for the same thing so you go to the content again and you can go to the quiz that you have created delete it out let's say it's okay over and you can say I don't I want to delete everything related to this quiz and then moving in further go to the test surveys and pools delete the default test that you have created here of course I'm gonna delete it as well and then moving in further ahead for the pools because I don't want these questions to be here as well so I'm gonna delete it from here as well Done. so these courses becomes free of any type of quiz so that makes things really easy when you have pool of questions coming all in your way and then the students will get randomized questions for different different type of quiz that they're gonna face there so it's a great approach to create some randomized questions by default so that in this case you have a multiple choice of questions so many of them and the students will not be having similar question for all of them in a similar way so that's really a great technique that blackboard provides to handle majority of questions and manage them really easily i hope this video is really informative of course it's a little longer one but yes in due course of time when you'll be using this feature of blackboard uh, you'll find it really very happening and it will avoid any type of problems associated with testing and it makes more probability that the students will not be able to share their work with each other or do any kind of unfair means of uh, giving the answers because the questions as well as the answers appears different to different students so thank you so much for watching until we meet next time for the next video this is Nair signing off. Have a nice day.